Hello, dear students. This is mathematics lesson on unit 8, vector and transformation of the plane. This chapter is designed for natural science students only. So today we focus on a uh, vector form of equation of a line and translation of geometric figures. So after this lesson, uh, you are expected to write equation of a line in vector form in vector form and translate geometric figures with the translation vector so let's continue to the lesson now let's take this one vector form of equation of a line let's see how the equation is derived let's have this line L, this line L passing through two points, uh, X0, Y0, it passes through this point, it passes through this point, and X0, Y0, and X1, Y1. Let's assume this be P0 and this be P1. So we need to write equation of a line this line in vector form in vector form so uh, to write the equation first let's find the vector which is part of this one direction vector for this one let's find this vector a vector running from p0 to p1 so a vector running from p0 to p1 uh, is uh, given by the difference between these two coordinates. Initial point is P0 is here, P1 is here, P0, P1 is this X1 minus X0 and Y1 minus Y0. Therefore, uh, let the line pass through the points, these two points, and then the vector P0, P1 is given by simply initial point P0, the terminal point P1, you take their difference. So it is x1 minus x0, comma y1 minus y0, which let's assume to be V. And this is our line, the whole line is parallel to this vector V. So our line, our line, this is some constant multiple of this vector. So let's take an arbitrary point this on this line. As the arbitrary point, B, it is P of X, Y, X comma Y. It's arbitrary. So our line will be this P naught P. So our line P naught P will be equal to some constant multiple of the vector P0, P1. Therefore, it's given by lambda times P0, P1. So from this, P0, P, P0, P means it is uh, the difference between P and P0. This is equal to lambda times P0, P1 is given by vector V, just we stated here. Therefore, this is a vector form of equation of a line. Further, writing this, you will have this one. Uh, just shifting P0 to the next other side. So P is equal to P0 plus lambda times V, where lambda is a scalar, and this vector is different from V. And we call this V is a direction vector, and uh, lambda is a parameter. And we can also rewrite this in this form. P is coordinate is x comma y in the figure. P0 x0 comma y0 plus Lambda times V, uh, we have just found V to be this, X1 minus X0, comma, Y1 minus Y0. Further, writing this, you'll have this one, X, comma, Y is equal to this, X0, comma, Y0 plus, Lambda times assume, let's assume this to be A, comma, B, X1 minus X0, A, Y1 minus Y0 to be B. So this is where X1 minus X0, Y1 minus Y0 is A, B, where is different from zero. So we call this a vector form of equation of a line. 
with parameter lambda and the direction vector a comma b so uh, i can also rewrite this vector form of equation of a line in this form here x is equal to x naught plus lambda a so x equal to x naught plus lambda a and y is equal to this y naught plus lambda b so y is equal to y naught plus lambda b S lambda is any real number it's a parameter and the vector a b is different from zero so we call this form of equation of a line it is a parametric form of equation of a line and parametric form of equation of a line can be converted into a standard form it can be converted into a standard form of equation of a line how look this one lambda we can equate we have lambda on both uh, upper and lower part x is equal to x naught plus lambda a from this we can calculate lambda lambda is equal to x minus x naught over a so x minus x naught over a in addition to this we can also have lambda here this will be equal to y minus y naught over b so uh, this is the standard form of the standard form of uh, equation of a line x minus x naught over a which is equals to y minus y naught over b so let's see example for this concept here a line passing through the point is 2 1 and minus 3 comma 1 and we are asked to write the equation of the line in vector or parametric form and standard form so to write a vector form of equation of a line we use this formula we need two things the point where the line passes and direction vector so uh, if we have a point that the line passes this one and direction vector a b a comma b so the equation of a line will be it is x comma y this is equal to the initial point the point that the line passes plus lambda times the direction vector this is the formula to write equation of a line in vector form that we derived earlier so uh, to use this now let's proceed to the answer solution since the line passes through these two points so we have one point we can take either this one or this one x naught comma y naught to be you can take either of the two points let me use this one two comma one and i need direction vector the direction vector you can take a vector running from this point to this one or in opposite direction no problem so since they are parallel therefore the direction vector uh, v take the direction vector to be the difference between the two so negative three minus two negative three minus two comma two minus one two minus one so this is equal to this is negative five comma two minus one is this one we have the point that the line passes and direction vector so i can write vector form of equation of a line so this is equal to this x comma y this is equal to the point line passes this two comma one plus lambda times the direction vector negative five comma one this is the vector form of equation of the line i can write this in a parametric form in this form x i can write the equation in this form x is equal to 2 minus 5 lambda and y is equal to 
1 plus lambda. This is it. And I can change this in standard form. In standard form, this will be take the difference between the two. You get x minus 2. Divide by negative 5 to get lambda. Divide by negative 5. This equal to take the difference between the two. It is y minus 1. y minus 1 divided by the coefficient of lambda is 1. This is it. Uh, by the way, you can also take x to not y to be the other point, not only 2 comma 1. You can take this one and you can write the equation. So this answer, now let's proceed to the other part. Now the next example. Find the vector equation of a line passing through negative 1, comma 2 and with direction vector for comma 2. So this simple solution. The vector form of equation of a line is given by x comma y is equal to the point the line passes x naught comma y naught plus lambda times uh, so uh, the point that the line passes also given here so uh, let me put that number it is minus 1 comma 2 plus lambda times it is 4 comma 2 so this is the answer it is, yes, it is the vector form of equation of a line for this example. The third example, what is the standard equation of a line passing through the point 2 comma negative 1 and parallel to the line this? So, solution for this one. We are asked to write the equation of a line. The line passes through negative 2, 1. So our x naught, comma, y naught is it is negative 2, comma, 1. And we need direction vector. Since this line, our line is parallel to this one, they will have the same direction vector. Therefore, Therefore, the direction vector for our line will also be this 3, 1. Therefore, the vector form of equation of a line will be this x, y. This equal to x0, y0 plus lambda times the direction vector. So, x, y, this equal to x naught comma y naught it is negative 2 negative 2 comma 1 it passes through this point plus lambda times the direction vector here it is 3 comma 1 because it's parallel to with this one they, are, they have the same direction vector so it is 3 1 therefore this is a vector form of equation of the line this is the answer now let's continue to the next example. A line passing through this point, negative 2 comma 1, and perpendicular to the line x comma y is equal to 1 comma negative 2 plus lambda times 3 comma 1. Now let's see this one solution. Our line passes through, it passes through the pointers, it passes through 2 comma, negative 2 comma 1. And we need a direction vector to write the equation of this line. Since our line is perpendicular to this one, the direction vector of our line with the given line are perpendicular. So, let the direction vector of our line be, let, 
let's the direction vector be we don't know the direction vector we need to find it so the direction vector to be let's assume to be a comma b since this line is perpendicular to the given their direction vector is perpendicular that means the dot product of their uh, vector will be zero so the direction vector of our line this one dotted with the direction vector we of the given line must be zero so the dot product of these two simply you multiply their component in add so it is 3a plus b is equal to zero from this you can find b to b it is minus 3a therefore our direction vector v will be it is a comma minus 3a taking out a as a common i can write this in this form a comma 1 comma negative 3 therefore from this you can see that any multiple of 1 comma negative 3 will be the direction vector of our line so we can take 1 comma negative 3 as the direction vector of this line therefore the direction vector of this line will be this 1 comma negative 3 so the equation will be x comma y is equal to x not y not it is negative 2 comma 1 plus lambda times our direction vector is 1 comma negative 3 therefore this will be the final answer or the vector form of equation of this line uh, the question is write it in standard form we can rewrite this in standard form so this will be this x plus 2 shifting 2 to this side and dividing by 1 to get lambda this is equal to to get another lambda corresponding to variable or second variable y minus 1 divided by y minus 1 divided by negative 3 so cross multiplication you have this one y minus 1 is equal to minus 3x the product of the two it is minus 6 so y is equal to negative 3x minus 6 plus 1 is it is uh, minus 5 so this will be the equation of a line in a standard form so this is it now let's continue to translation of geometric figure if every point of a figure is moved along the same direction through the same distance same direction through the same distance then the transformation is called translation or parallel movement you can see this figure look c is moved to c prime a is moved to a prime the distance they move is the same b is moved to b prime they are also moved parallelly you can see uh, ac is parallel to a prime c prime and ab is parallel to a prime b prime this is a parallel movement not only this one uh, this uh, movement also called rigid motion as you can see it doesn't change the size rigid motion is a motion that marks a figure to congruent figure so uh, these two figures are congruent doesn't change the size this motion does not change the size so uh, translation is also rigid motion now let's continue okay if a point p is translated to if a point p is translated to p prime then p p prime is the translation vector if u is equal to h comma k is a translation vector then the image of the point x y under the translation will be this one look if we have this point if we have x comma y and 
the translation vector t let's assume t the translation vector h comma k or u you can say u or t no problem uh, so the image will be the image will be equal to it is you add h on x k on y simply so it will be this x plus h comma y plus k therefore if you have a translation vector u which is h comma k if you translate the point x comma y using this translation its image will be x plus h comma y plus k it will be this one it will be this one to translate conic section conic section translate the coordinate system into new coordinate system uh, and then express the conic section in terms of the new coordinate system so let's see this concept look to translate if you are asked uh, to translate maybe parabola maybe ellipse maybe line using the vector h comma k so what you do is simply you translate the coordinate the coordinate system so here uh, we have x y coordinate system the original one and this point assume this is a point so this will be this this one is this y and this part will be this is x it's x comma y the distance from the origin x the distance from origin y in original x y coordinate system and when you translate to new coordinate system x prime y prime assume this the same point assume the same point by uh, x prime y prime so this part this distance will be it is it is y prime and this distance will be this x prime therefore i can write x prime and y prime in terms of original coordinate system since this h comma k the distance from this to this it is h the whole distance it is x x minus h gives you it is this x prime so x prime can be evaluated using x prime minus h and uh, we can also relate y prime in terms of the original coordinate system so here uh, we have this distance this distance it is y the total distance and this part it is y prime this distance is k the coordinate k it is so uh, to find y prime you subtract y minus k this one is k this distance it is k so y prime is equal to y to total minus k so it gives you y prime is equal to y minus k in the new coordinate system so uh, simply when you translate conic section for example if you have some conic section here if you are asked to translate uh, this conic section maybe let's assume x squared plus two something is equal to zero and if we have the translation vector h comma k so you translate it this one simply in place of x you can write this in the different coordinate system x prime plus 2 is equal to 0 so uh, in place of x prime you put what simply it is x minus h in new coordinate system x prime is given by x minus h y prime if we have let's assume y here they assume this to be y so this will be pi y prime when you translate a given section by translation vector uh, h comma k simply x squared plus y squared is converted into a new coordinate system it is x prime squared plus y prime squared is equal to zero so in place of x prime you put x minus h the x prime means x minus h and y prime is it is y minus k so you put here it will be x minus h the whole squared plus y minus k this equal to zero so 
uh, this is how we translate a given cone section. Let's see or let's develop this concept using examples. Uh, okay, let's see example. Now look this one. Let T be a translation that takes uh, 3, 4 to 1, 2. So find the translation vector T. To find the translation vector T, the initial point is 3 comma 4 and this is translated to uh, 1 comma 2 so we need to find the translation the translation vector is a vector running from this to this one so to find this this vector you subtract 1 minus 3 comma 2 minus 4 therefore this gives you this 1 minus 3 is negative 2 2 minus 4 is this negative 2 the translation vector t is this negative 2 comma negative 2 we are also asked to find the image of this point under translation t. So we are asked to find the image of negative 4, 6 under this translation. We have found this translation. Therefore, translating means adding this number. So negative 4 plus negative 2, comma 6 plus negative 2, you get negative 6, comma 4. This is a translation of negative 4 comma 6 under translation vector negative 2 comma negative 2 now let's see this example here we are asked to find the image of these numbers 2x plus y is equal to 3 x comma y is equal to 3 comma 2 plus t times negative, negative 2 comma 1 and uh, x squared minus y squared plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. We are asked to translate these cone sections using the translation vector this. So uh, let's see the solution. For a, for a, 2x plus y is equal to 3 will be translated by the translation vector. It is negative 1 comma 2, negative 1 comma 2. So, when you tra translate cone section, write the cone section in new coordinate system as I said earlier. So, I can write this in 2x prime plus y prime, which is equal to 3. And x prime is, I can write, x prime is equal to this, x minus h if you remember we drive this formula x minus h our h is minus one x minus minus one is x plus one and our y prime is it is y minus two our y prime is this y minus two so simply substitute these two in place of this one the answer will be this two times x prime is it is x plus one plus y prime is this y minus two which is equal to 3. So this, you can simplify further this. So uh, the translation of 2x plus y is equal to 3 gives you 2 into uh, x plus 1 plus y minus 2 is equal to 3. Now, B, we are asked also to translate this one. x comma y is equal to 3 comma 2 into t comma negative 2 comma 1 so to translate this simply write this in new coordinate system so it will be this x prime comma y prime which is equal to 3 comma 2 plus t comma negative 2 comma 1 substituting x prime and y prime we have found x prime to be x plus 1 y prime to be y minus 2 substituting this you will have this one so x prime is this x plus 1 comma y prime is this y minus 2 this is equal to it is 3 comma 2 plus t into negative 2 comma 1 this is, you can rewrite this in another form uh, in this form you can write this in this form x comma y it's 1 comma negative 2 shift to this side you can add on this so you'll have this one 1 
minus 1. When you shift 1 over there, it's minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2, comma. We have minus 2 here. When you shift on the next side, you will have positive 2. Add on 2, you get 4, plus t, comma, negative 2, comma, 1. So this is the translation of uh, this vector form of equation of a line by the translation vector uh, negative 1, comma, 2. OK, now the next one is C. Uh, with the same procedure, we can here I'll leave C for you. Uh, you can simply uh, find the image of uh, this cone section uh, under the translation vector negative 1, comma, 2. Simply what you do is, in place of x, you substitute x plus 1. And in place of y, you substitute y minus 2. And you simplify. So this is a translation of uh, cone section. Uh, so let's proceed to uh, the next part. So let's summarize what we have seen today. First, we have seen a vector form of equation of a line. Uh, vector form of equation of a line is written in this form. x comma y is equal to x naught y naught plus lambda times a b, where lambda is a parameter, a comma b is a direction vector. So and this point is the point that the line passes. So to write equation of a line in vector form, you need two things, uh, the initial point and the direction vector. OK, uh, the second point we have seen today is if u is h comma k is a translation vector, then the image of a point, if a point is given, to find its image under this translation, simply you add. So the image of this point under translation vector h comma k is simply it is x plus h comma y plus k. This this will be the image. And to translate a conic section, translate the coordinate system to new coordinate system and then express the coordinate section in new coordinate system. This means, in short, uh, if you have a translation vector h comma k, h comma k. So uh, to find the translation of a cone section, simply substitute in place of x. In place of x, you substitute x minus h. And in place of y, you substitute y minus k. And then you simplify. Substitute x minus h in place of k. So you'll find the translated geometric figure. So uh, please uh, try these questions. Not on this one, to know more, you have to read more, read examples uh, uh, on your text from page 314 to 315 and do exercise 8.5, which is found on page 319, and read examples from page uh, 322 to 324 and do exercise 8.5. So this will be all about today's lesson. Until next class. Goodbye.